prove the law of cosines, I'm going to take a triangle, any triangle, and place it on the coordinate plane with one of its sides along the x-axis and one of its corners touching 0, 0. And I'm going to label all the sides. The next thing I need to do is figure out what the other two points are. This one is easy enough right here. This is B, this is side B, so this is going to be B units along the x axis. So B0. This point just takes a little bit of trigonometry to get. If I divide this into two right triangles, I can use trigonometry. I can use this angle right here, say this is, well this is angle C. So if I recall, which I should know this by now, sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse and cosine is the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. So if I take the sine and cosine of angle C, I'm going to have, well let me start with, let me start with the cosine. So if I take the cosine of angle C, it's going to be the adjacent side, this side of this right triangle, over the hypotenuse, which is side A. This point is going to be whatever this adjacent side is going to be and the y, or at least for the x, and then for the y coordinate, it's going to be whatever this opposite side is. So if I take the sine and cosine of angle C, I'm going to have the adjacent side for cosine, which is the x of this point, and I'm going to have the opposite side of this triangle, which is going to be the y for this point. So if I take, let me start with the Let's start with x. So if I oh, I start with y. So let's take cosine of c, which is the opposite. Oh no, I keep getting them mixed up backwards. <laughs> which is the adjacent or a hypotenuse, and I could fill part of this in. The only point I know right away is just a. Well, it's not really a point; it's a side. over side A. And then the adjacent side is going to be whatever this x coordinate is right here. So it's really x over A. So if I multiply both sides by A, I'm going to A cosine C is equal to x. So I can write this x coordinate up here as A cosine of C. So now that I've done that, it should be fairly obvious how to get the y. Instead of that, I'm going to be doing, instead of the cosine, I'm going to be doing the sine. Sine of c is the opposite. Or the hypotenuse, I know the hypotenuse is a. And the opposite side is going to be whatever the y happens to be. So I multiply both sides by AA sine C is equal to Y. A sine of C. So now that I have all my points, I need to find a formula that I can use to incorporate all of my, my variables. And one that comes to mind is just the Pythagorean theorem or a distance formula. It's the same thing. It's A squared plus B squared is equal to c squared or d is equal to that. So if I take the distance between these two points right here, I'm going to be able to use all of my variables. So I'll do that. 
my first point a cosine of c and I'm just going to use this one right here I could do this one if I wanted to not much point Now it's just really <coughs> a process of simplifying. Um, well, whatever, I could just wrote two in front of that. This other one is really simple. I'm just going to put all the like terms together and then Now this next part I'm going to factor out an a squared and this will be be obvious in just one second. So both of these had a squared in common, so I just factored that out. And now I'm left with this, and it, this should look familiar. It's one of those trigonomic identities. Cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta is equal to 1. So I can just replace this with 1. And then a squared times 1 is just a squared. and I'm left with this. C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared minus 2AB cosine C. So I took the distance formula between these two points, which is side C, and then I got the formula for this one right here. Now, if I wanted to get these other ones, I wouldn't do the distance between these two points or these two points. What I would do is I would just rotate this triangle. So instead of this side B being on the bottom, I would have A on the bottom or C on the bottom. And then I would do the distance between whatever two points are the furthest ones away.